I'm still that nigga, man. I'm on top. Cincinnati, stand up. West side, 2-5. You're 3-3-1 three, three, and one in your last seven fights. What will you do next? Hey, I'm 3-3-1 three, three, in my last seven, but I'll be 7-0 seven, no against you. Well, that wouldn't mean much. That's the end of this interview. Yeah. Yup, you know what time it is, man. This is, of course, your favorite channel, man. This is CTB. This is Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm, of course, your boy, Jay Slay. Say what up to him, man. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Adrian Broner, bro. Adrian Broner is in the news, man. He about to have a fight. And my opinion is about it. It could be a, a big fight. It's going to be a great fight if Broner let his hands go. I'm going to say <laughs> that. I lost faith in Broner. If Broner let his hands go. This could be a great fight, man. He's fighting Figueroa, man. A fight that I did not see coming. I'm being honest. I thought this style would be bad for the brother that we know now. The brother that we know now who does let his hands go, who's been the same way for at least four or five fights now. I did not pick him to fight at Brandon Figueroa, man. Uh, Not Brandon. What's his name? Brandon's a little brother. Omar. Omar Figueroa. I, I didn't pick him to, to fight Omar Figueroa. And Omar Figueroa, man, I did not think he would take this fight. But I kind of see what Omar took it because it is a big payday. It is Adrian Broner. He's going to get that money for this fight. So why do you think Broner chose Figueroa, man? You think he sees something in Figueroa? Or you think Broner is just a gangster? He did, he wasn't going to take any light work. Well, well I, I say this. Broner don't duck no smoke. And I think he had a crossroad with PBC. Because I think with PBC, he want big money. And I think PBC is saying, okay, if you want a big money fight, you want to show that you still can sell, we're going to put you in a fight that's going to force you to be entertaining. Because if he don't let his hands go with Omar, he gonna get punished. He gonna get beat up. So he gonna be forced to fight back because Omar's not gonna stop coming. So if he gets in that fight with him in an action pack fight and he's able to, to stop him or, or get the best of him in an action pack fight, his name is buzzing again. Now they can say, okay, now we, now we can justify paying you a little bit more than uh, the money you want. Because I like you, I thought he going to be just a touch-up fight with some Santiago-type fighter, being that he had a long layoff. So to see Omar was kind of big for me because, I, like you said, he don't let his hands go no more. And Omar throws 110 punches around. Got the motor. So I'm worried, but this could be what, what AB uh, need. Maybe PBC said we're going to put him in there in the um the gauntlet, and he going to um, he gonna have to either come out of it or he going to get broke. And I'm hoping that the old AB show up, motivated, let them hands go. Because if he let them hands go, he'll beat Omar Figueroa. But he has to let his hands go. But it's going to be exciting. I'm I'm interested in the fight, so I can't wait. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I think PBC, I won't say they feed him to the wolves. Because I, I do feel AB and Figueroa are on the same level right now. While AB, back in the day, we would all be saying, yo, AB should be the favorite in this fight. AB should, he should dog walk Figueroa. One, one question, Omar Figueroa, his last fight was at 147? Yeah. With, with Ugas? Maybe, yeah, this fight going to be at, at welterweight. Oh, uh. Yeah, this fight will be at welterweight. It's rumored to be at welterweight anyway for right now. I know they're still in the parameters part, so they're not, they haven't been chosen. I'm pretty sure it'll be at welterweight. I don't see Broner coming back. His last fight was at welterweight. He fought Santiago at welterweight. So I don't see him going down to 140 right yet, in my opinion. But the last time we see Brendan Figueroa in the ring... It wasn't the Ugas fight. He fought somebody after the, after the Ugas fight. But I can't remember who it was. Uh, I'll look I, it up later. But uh, he, the last time we seen him at championship level, or at this level, was when he fought uh, Ugas. And Ugas pretty much dog walked uh, Figueroa, pretty much. He pretty much he pretty much took Figueroa's best weapons away and actually was bullying Figueroa in the ring. He was pushing him around and landing body shots. I think the body shots would hurt Figueroa the most. Um, and slowed him down the most. So, Broner has to do the same game plan, man. He has to, what I, he's not the bully style fighter. He's not the person who's going to bully you and push you back. But he will look for those counter punch shots. But he can't wait all day, man. He can't wait all day for them counter punch shots. He got to let his hands go, bro. If he don't let his hands go, then PBC got a, got another payday for Figueroa coming up, which may be Keith Thurman. I'm going to be honest. I see the winner of this fight possibly fighting Keith Thurman, bro. Yep. Cause to be honest, let's, let's be honest. We called it here months ago that we all we said months ago we wanted to see an AB versus Keith Thurman build up because it would be great. The fight would be great. You know what I'm saying? Go back and look at our old videos about it. Uh, we talked about how good that fight had been would be. So I think this they pretty much came to him saying, "Yo, you want to get back on championship level? You beat Figueroa, we will get you a Keith Thurman fight." They probably tell Figueroa the same thing. Hey, you want to get back a championship level? 
beat Adrian Broner, we get a Keith Thurman fight. What you think about them two guys fighting for possibly a Keith Thurman fight? This is just a rumor mill going through CTV. Yeah, um, the walls is closed in on Keith Thurman. Like I said, he wanted the big payday with a Keith or um, Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence fight. That's not gonna happen. They think about each other in, in, a, in a bigger uh, game plan than what Keith Thurman wants. But Keith Thurman still want to make that money. Like I told you, he's trying to get a retirement plan. And it's only a few boxes that can get that. And everybody keep throwing boots out there, but boots is not bringing the money in yet for the ass whipping he gonna take. <laughs> not taking the ass whipping from boots for that little bit of money. I'm telling you, and he's not gonna do it. So he's kind of waiting for the you know the dust to clear with um a I mean not with AB but with Earl Spence and Crawford because I think after they win, Crawford or Earl Spence may vacate and move up, and there's gonna be a lot of belts sitting there. And I can see uh, Adrian Broner. Keith Thurman for a vacant title or Omar Figueroa for a vacant title. And that's the fight that Keith Thurman is winnable. It's going to be a nice payday. It's going to probably be on pay-per-view. And you can sell, especially with AB, you can sell that fight. So Thurman would jump all on that in a heartbeat. So I know he's praying that AB win because he thinks AB is food. Which could backfire. Mm -hmm. Think AB is food. So it'll be interesting. I would definitely want to see it, even though they both probably passed their peak at this stage. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I already said it, man. We seen how Barrios did. Uh, Keith Thurman, if if Adrian Broner come in here and turn up, turn back the clock on on Brandon Figueroa, yeah. he's gonna be the better favorite. He's gonna be the eyes on favorite. Um, do I see do I see a sanction about it? If he if if he go in here and body Figueroa and like I like really hurt Figueroa and then. Oh. I think so, bro. I'll be honest. Bro, Keith Thurman got so it's a whole other show, man. Keith <laughs> Thurman got hurt to the body by by pretty much a lightweight. You know what I'm saying? Cause Barrio, well, Barrios is he's a yeah. tall, he's a tall welterweight. He's not really a, a welterweight. He's a junior welterweight. But in my opinion, he has the punch of a lightweight. In my opinion, maybe a 135, 135er. That's why Tank Davis was able to beat him where he was. And why Tank Davis was able to take his punch, in my opinion, because it's. Let's, let's be honest, man. If you were hurt by that guy to the body, you're going to get hurt by AB. AB has... You, you can hate AB all you want. You can hate him. You can like him. Whatever. AB has popping his punches. Yeah, he so he can he can hurt Keith Thurman to the body. And I think if he go in here and body... Say, say he go in here and knock out Figueroa. You know, Ugas wasn't able to do that, really. I mean, put put, put Figueroa to sleep. If he put Figueroa to sleep, I, I see Adrian Broner being the better favorite over a... A person who over well, Keith Thurman who hasn't fought since he fought Barrios. Yeah, Lord, yeah. Lord, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I can see where you're coming from. It, it would make it, it'll make it an interesting fight. I put it that way. I, I, I wouldn't say he would be the favorite, but it, it damn sure would make the the odds very close. I got close. a question for you real quick before we get out of here. You, what section of the body do you think would be the the most corrupt? They will, cause you know they'd be fucking over boots at this point. If they put Adrian Broner over boots off a of Figueroa win. Let's just say, what section of the body do you think would be the, the culprit of that? Because all the belts would be open. If whoever went undisputed, they, they vacate in all the belts. So which one of those four section of the bodies do you see fucking over uh, any of the top welterweights right now for Adrian Broner? Uh, that includes Ortiz. WBA. I would go with WBA. I agree with you. WBA. WBC, no. They, they don't give a fuck about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. And, uh, the uh, the IBF to me is the most the most the best belt as far as sticking to their guidelines. I get IBF that, and the WBO is the top rank belt. So that's going to they're going to hold that for top rank. Whoever whoever at 147 that's that's got something to do with top rank gonna get the WBO vacant shot. Yep. So I'm thinking the, the, the WBA. I agree with you with all those points. I ain't gonna repeat it. Everything you said is what I was thinking, man. For <laughs> real, for real. With that being said, man, you got anything else you want to add to this topic? I think we covered it all. Well, definitely. With that being said, man, of course, this is your favorite channel, man, CTB. This is Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Say peace to him, man. All right, everybody. Remember, please, to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel growing. You know why? Because we love boxing, and you love boxing. But most of all, God, peace and love, and we out of here. Take care. Uh, hold on, man. Hey, Dad. Brush my hair one time. Hey, Pops. Come brush my hair. He has his gloves on, so he can't do it himself. Is that right? All right. Okay.